And who better to talk about the upcoming Memorial Cup than a guy who's actually hoisted the trophy, Ray Ferraro. Does that conjure up some memories there for you? Yeah, you bet it does. What a what an awesome time in your career. You're, it's the most important games that you've played in your life, really, until that time. And now for most of these players, it, it'll be the biggest games they ever play. But there's also NHL scouts here. There's draft rankings on the line. This is a fantastic tournament to play in. 1983 has been a few years. Do you still remember the moment, though? I do because it turned out uh, as it turned out rather that's the only tournament we ever won the only one I was ever on the winning side of well let's look at this year's edition because one of the, one of the players that a lot of We are getting closer to puck drop for this Memorial Cup in game one here. We bring Ray Ferraro back into the fold, and boy, the scout cam should be on full display tonight, won't they? Yeah, there'll be a bunch of people wearing black jackets. That's what the scouts wear, and they'll be sitting up in the corners of the rink watching these players really closely. Now, they've got a book pretty much on every player by this point in the season, but these are critical games to watch how they'll play against the very best competition. This absolutely will help determine where a player will go in the draft. Oh, I'm sure they're playing in those bright lights and how do you respond? And you know, one of the other players that a lot of people have been talking about. EA Sports bringing you the heat, bringing you the noise, and bringing you what should be a fantastic matchup tonight on the ice. And we are about set to drop the puck tonight. The Blazers get off to a good start as they win the opening faceoff. Cuts to the point. Tremendous read as he pokes it away with the paddle. Oh, wow, stops the game. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Quebec's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Good battle along the boards for the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Quick pass to Bull Duke. Standing by our own Colin Bays with all the leads. Thanks so much, James. You know, the rookie is playing in his very first Memorial Cup, and the hype around social media is real. They're calling him a game changer for whatever team gets him. Yeah, a lot of buzz about him as play continues here. a way to execute and take advantage of your position on the ice. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, this is the net. You know he'll want that one back, Cheryl. Well, he certainly will, James. That puck is following him around, and you can see he saw the opening, but wasn't able to put it on net. Scores! And the road team quickly gets on the board, and this place got quite quick. Well, it's always tough when you're on the road, James, but when you get off to a good start, you're prepared, and you turn the momentum, it's all in your favor. You know it's a hard shot when the goaltender gets a big piece of it, but it still trickles in. The Red Hearts couldn't have asked for a better start here tonight as they are on the board still early in the first. Yeah, they get their legs underneath them right from the opening faceoff. They get multiple lines into the game and they just kept building momentum and they're rewarded with that first goal of the game. Oh, he missed the net. What a chance there. Oh, James, when you're in the funnel, you've got that great scoring chance. you got to execute. You can't miss from that area. Moves inside. Makes the save, but barely with that one. They go on the attack from the left side. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. one nothing is where we sit at this point. Offense his own face off, and he wins the draw. Picked off by Seminoff. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Quick feed to Seminoff, and there's the save. Quick pass over to Barrows. 
Takes a shot. Glove save. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Centers are lined up, and we are ready to resume. Rochette's won the draw inside his own end. Fires one. Oh, he put it just wide as it hits the outside of the post. Hamloops looks frustrated after they hit the pipe and the puck comes out, especially when you're in a close game, a hard-fought battle. They'll just have to continue their fight, press, and look for some more opportunities. There's a shot. Oh, what of the net. Scooped up along the wall by Brandwood. They are swarming around like bees here in the Ozone. And they'll end all that pressure as they clear the zone. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Driving right to the front. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Oh, he had that corner, but he puts it off the outside of the post. Kamloops is now bringing an attack mentality. They're down in this game. They have to find a way to continue to drive the net. A missed opportunity there. Frustrating bounce as it goes off the pipe and out. Here in the back half of this period, we've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. The Blazers start with the puck in their own end. Moves it to Bankier. On the attack along the boards. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Takes a shot. Standing tall. The Blazers are still trailing here in this first period despite the opportunities they've had. Savoie's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Across the line, down the left wall. Moves the pass in front, and that chance is blocked. Hammers the shot, they score! And that's back-to-back -back snipes. Well, it feels like there's a wave of a momentum, and it has certainly changed here. You can get the opportunity but you have to execute. That's two in a row. The Ramparts extend the lead by two here in period number one. Well, I really like their play up to this point in the first period here, James. I mean, they've got themselves a two-goal cushion because they've been relentless on the puck. But now it's about continuing to be urgent, not getting complacent, and sitting back, continue to attack. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. Quebec's won the draw. That's blocked. Cam Loops has the puck. Carries it in. Grabbed along the board by Zellweger. God save. He's out of tonight. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. Bulldog's a star who can get his squad buzzing offensively. Stankovic's depended upon greatly by his teammates. He's one of the stars of this team and needs to produce night in and night out. I'll be keeping tabs on these players all night long, and let's see if one of them can lead their team to victory. Guys, back to you. Cam Loops will play it from behind the net. Semenov slugging the puck. The Blazers are across the line and into the offensive end. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Komarov. Tries to get the puck over to Bull Duke. Takes a shot. Denies him on the slobber. Picked up along the boards by Roy. Massive spill in the corner. And a strong effort on that play. Here's a short pass to Bankier. Here they come on the attack. Sends the feed in front. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Quebec's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Sends a pass over. Malatesta's got the puck. And makes the routine save. Pass back to the point. 
Misses big time, and he teed off on all of it. Well, I don't think it was in his wheelhouse, James, and he probably should have collected the puck and not elected for the one-timer. That's way off target. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Big time stuff by Rousseau. Tries to get the puck to Savoie. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Takes a shot. Big stop just as time expires in the period. There's the end of period number one. Both teams will grab a quick breather. You can grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with second period action in moments. Looking for the latest news, scores, and statistics? Check out our team website for video highlights, player features, and great merchandise from our online store. Clean sheet of ice, period two is set to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? The Blazers are trailing in this game because they had a sloppy opening frame, James. The coach won't like it. You have to manage the puck and make good decisions if you want to be rewarded. Moves it quickly over to Hofer. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Still plenty of time left in this frame. And it's a comfortable 2-0 lead we're looking at right now. The Blazers will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Too many bodies in the way. Quebec's got a hold of the puck. Good read with the stick to break that up. Oh, and they can't keep the puck in the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Puts it on net, and he gets just enough of it with the glove and keeps it out. Up along the wing. Here's a shot. Glove save, and he made it look simple. Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Safwa's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Gains the zone on the left wing. Cam loops on the attack. Huge steal in his own end. Robida's got it into offensive territory. Denied by the goaltender. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Good hit on the play. Quick pass to Savoy. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Look at this attack here in the Ozone. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Quebec's looking to break out of their own end. The Blazers gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Takes a shot. Oh, my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was all but in, James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. Quick shot. Oh, just goes off his glove, and it stays out. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Oh, he stops him with the glove. Great reflexes there. Still lots of time left in the period. The Remparts lead this one to zip. Cam Luce has won the faceoff here in their own end. Across the line along the left wall. Moves the puck along the half wall. Comes up with the stop. Taken along the wall by Bentier. And now he moves it quickly to Brandwood. Blocked in front. Scores! Well, without a ton of time and space in that high slot area, he makes the right choice of selection of shots with that quick snapshot. Pulls it into the feet, disguises the angle, and beats the goalie clean. Gets one back here in period number two and still a whole lot of runway to go, Cheryl. This is an emotional one as well, James, as they get back within this game and they clawed their way back in, but they've had possession and a frustrating look now turns positive. Quick feed to Komarov. Takes the feed. Sends the pass in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Tosses it on to Kiefler. Here's a chance, sends it in front. And that doesn't go as it's off the stick. Poked 
way in the defensive end. Moves it to Gaudet. The Blazers gain control of the puck against the wall. Takes the return feed. And now it's grabbed by Stan Coven. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Blazers still trail by a goal here, but they are back into this one, only down by one. Wrist went in front, and the shot dies in the traffic jam. Picked up along the wall by Kovarov. The rim parts played along the boards. Shot, and that banks off a stick. Pinned up along the boards. Hofer's hauled down, penalty on the way. Here comes the sentence. Well, it's kind of hard to protect a one-goal lead when you're sitting in the box and your team's short-handed, James. The PK unit's gonna have to find a way to stave off the power play here and get the job done. Well, this gives us our first chance to take a look at the team's power play unit. Power plays are a funny thing, especially when you're down by one, James. You have to act as if you are the hunter and you have to possess that puck and attack. Grabs control of it at the point. Here's a short pass to Sidor. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. And there's a shot! Just wide! With the blast! And that doesn't reach the net. And he gets a chunk of that to keep it out. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Savoie's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The Blazers win the draw. And that goes off course off a body. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Musa quickly over to Semenov. Feeds it over on the attack. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Here comes the call. You're trailing by one and you take a penalty. Not the way to get back in the game. A nice little break for the defenseman here. One less forward to deal with as we have some four-on-four -four hockey on tap. Four-on-four, -four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there. Scooped up along the wall by Komarov. Quebec's got it in their own zone. From center, they get into the attacking area. The Ramparts will have a chance to go to work here on the man advantage after the penalty expired. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Slides the puck across to Robida. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Slides it over with pace to Selwiger. The Ramparts go to work on offense. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. The Blazers move to the offensive zone. Cam Luce plays it along the wing. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Last play will result in two minutes for elbowing. A little four on four hockey as both teams step inside the faceoff circle. Well, four on four is similar to three on three. There's more ice available and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two on ones all over. Handles the puck. And the puck hops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to regroup. And he feeds it down to Kiefler. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. And not much on that one. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Savoie's ready for the try as they continue to be shorthanded here. The Ramparts win the draw in their own end. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Grabbed along the boards by Balotesta. Fires it! And the goaltender comes up on a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Denies him again! Oh man, he's so dialed in, makes consecutive saves there and keeps his team in it. Quick pass 
to seven off. Oh, can't get it to go. Bond has a good scoring chance. It's a quick release shot, but unable to convert. The Rimparts will play it in their own end. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. And he takes the feed. Moves it around along the half wall. trying to escape the zone. And they take care of business on the play. The Blazers will play from the defensive zone. Jostles for the puck, but still hangs on. Was almost ready to get back on the ice. been deterred all night. They were down, but look at that. They stayed with it, stayed with it, and we've got a tie game. And timing is everything. The opponent's going to the dressing room having given up the lead, and now you're going into the dressing room knowing that you tied it. The momentum is in their favor. Moves the puck down low. Centering pass. Only comes up with a stop. Oh, and a smart heads-up play with the bank pass. Well, there's the horn, and that means two periods down. And there's still a critical third to play. Looking forward to this one. Third period action is coming up. Welcome back. James Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. It's been a fun one so far. to stay Coven. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. We're still in the early stages of this period. It's all tied up. Stay Coven's won the draw, and they'll look to set up. Now he takes it over the line. Cam Luke's has it in their own zone. Back to the blue line. Moves the puck. Skates across the blue line. Grabs the puck. Quebec's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here's a chance. And he gets just enough to keep it out. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Kamloops looks to get things going now with the puck. Coughs up the puck after that hit. Gains the zone through the middle. Moves it to Watt. Here's a shot. And it's stopped by the glove. Nice play there. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Kamloops plays it up ahead. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. The Rimparts will lose a man tripping the call. send their men advantage unit out once more. Earlier today, the guys were talking about the cross crease one time, and the coverage is sliding over to one side of the ice. It's opening it up all day long. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Nice job to escape the zone. Takes it at center. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. Agostino's got it along the wing. The Blazers gain possession along the wall. Keefler's picking up steam. 
sends it in front. And another pass. Moves it again. Another pass. And it's blocked. Here's a short pass to Sidor. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Komarov. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. And he loses control here. Kamloops jumps into the offensive end and goes on the attack. Great reach with the stick by Kiefer. Scores! A power play goal puts them in front. Well, and this was a huge opportunity that they took advantage of, James. They were urgent on the puck, but they also showed boys and patience. What I really love about this power play is it isn't predictable, which means the PK doesn't know where that puck is going. That's how you manipulate it. That's how you open up lanes. And this shot comes from the mid lane or the interior of the ice, and it's buried. The Blazers kick off this third period in style, jumping out in front by one. Let's face it, they've been in full control of the game. Just look at the time of possession, James. It's been on their stick. So if they can hold the puck, be in the offensive zone, guess what? It's not in theirs. Penalty coming up as the play is blown dead. Semenov's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Quebec's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Well, they earned this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. Well, Duke's got it in the offensive zone. Great poke by Rochette. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Poked away by Rochette. Sends the pass over. Quick pass to Juan. Falling with the stop. Listen, Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get, and he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. Power play set to roll on as the centers get ready for the faceoff. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Receives the pass. And he slides it quickly to Bankier. Takes it into the slot. James and the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Oh, and he stopped that rocket. The Blazers take it along the wing. Sent into the offensive zone. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Poked away in the offensive zone by Bankier. Quebec's got possession of the puck. And it's a quick pass to Bolduc. Pokes the puck away. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Such a tough penalty to take when the game's within reach. They're looking for the equalizer, and now they find themselves shorthanded. Well, things should open up for both sides here with a little four-on-four -four action. Four-on-four four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards, but the forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. Moves it quickly over to Bull Duke. And as he steps back out onto the ice, they'll go to work with the man advantage here. Quick feed to Brandwood. Slick feed. Gains the zone through center. Center and feed. Oh, they couldn't complete that. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Puck slid down the ice. Takes the feed from the left side. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Picked up along the boards by Savoie. Kamloops has possession of the puck. Here's a shot. And he stakes that one with the club. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. They win the face-off here in their own end and take possession. And they send it down the ice. The Blazers move the puck in the defensive zone. Handles the pass at center. Keepler's tripped up and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. And he slides it quickly to Selwiger. Here comes the call to the official. 
And yet another penalty is called, so out comes the PK unit, and you know what? They are taxed, they are worn down. If this continues, it's all gonna backfire. I won't be surprised to see the 1-3-1 again. They had success on it earlier, James. And listen, I love this. I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot and I love the net front player. You're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but you can also pop out below the goal line and present as an option. So multiple variations that can strike. Sets a pass in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Roaming outside, still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. The Blazers win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. And that pass is redirected. Rush shuts out of the sin bin and joins the penalty kill here. Clearing attempt. And he moves the puck across the blue line out of the defensive zone. Dishes it to Stankoven. Straight up the middle, here they come. Shot! Here's a shot! And he catches that one with the glove. That's an incredible save, James. I mean, he's got presence in his crease, and he's also got a great glove hand, and he shows it right there with that save. Stank Hovind's at the faceoff dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. The Rimparts start with the puck in their own end. Slides the puck ahead to Bull Duke. Pokes it away in his own end. Quebec's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Kamloops has possession of it now. The Blazers cross the blue line and are on the attack. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Oh, and it's another save on the play. Rochette's ready for the draws that will continue to try to kill off this penalty. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Chris Little close. Here's a shot. And there's a club shot on the play. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender a task here. Gets out in front of it and makes a save. Chance to reset here on the draw this man advantage. The Blazers will go to work here in the offensive zone. Made that stop. anybody's hockey game now. We are all tied just the way we love it, Cheryl. Yeah, everyone loves it in the building. I mean, the energy that it's created and the buzz. You can see everyone on the bench. They were up cheering, and this is the momentum switch in the game. This face-off is critical. You want possession. You want to continue to drive the pace and put them on their heels. He was totally locked in on that play. What a great job of tracking the puck. Not one, but two consecutive saves. Handles it along the blue line. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Passes on over to Semenov. Gain momentum up along the side. Here's a shot. Too much congestion in front. Takes the feed. Cam Luce gets the puck near the boards. Knocked around but keeps it going. Gets a piece of it to make the save. Puck scooped up by Bankier. Moves it to Masters. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Quick feed down low. Taken along the wall by Selwager. Hammers one. Denies him in front. 
There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Let's send it back down to ringside with Carlin Bay. Bolduke's been great at generating offense, and I've been impressed with his game in this one, guys. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. And he takes the dish. Feeds the puck over to Bolduke. Quebec's got it in their own zone. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. With possession along the wall. Fires it on net. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Trushall stick handling in his own zone. Feeds it to Langlois. Here's a short pass to Rochette. Shot! Denies him! He got all of it! Kamloops looks to break out in their own end. Handles the pass. Still a tight one here as we approach the final minute of the third. Blocked in traffic. How did he stop that one? Here in the late going of the frame, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Stay Coben's won it off the faceoff. Slides the puck across to Masters. Here's a chance. Kamloops plays it against the boards. Stones him in front. There's the whistle. We get a faceoff after the goalie covers up. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. South Wales won the draw here in the defensive zone. Oh, how did he miss that? I mean, it's all part of the game, but Cheryl, you've got to connect on that one. Well, you do, especially when you get those grade-A score. Oh, well, that's going to be a call, James. That's definitely a penalty. Penalty coming up here. The coach's responsibility is to keep them focused here. They've got a job to do. They've got to kill this penalty off late in the third. I mean, it's a tie game. They've got to get it done. The Blazers with another big opportunity on the power play. And they'll start with possession. There's the hole. That means overtime is looming. Both teams will refresh and will come back with the drama next. Stay warm and stylish at the break with our specially priced item tonight. Our game team starts. Players are back on the ice. They're set as of the officials. Overtime. Let's find out. The Blazers win possession here as we open up the period, and that power play is still intact. And that's blocked away. The Rimparts gain possession of the defensive zone. Oh, he saved it! What a stop! Now well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. A chance in front! Block shot! The Rimparts have it against the wall. Quick pass to Rochette. Chris shot from the slot. Oh, just wide! Sometimes there's pressure on players when they get into that prime time scoring area. And because of it, they rush the shot. And I think that happened right there. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Two on one, here we go! Oh, what a save on the play! Hopers ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And he makes that save as well. Takes it to the front. Picked up along the way by Sandoval. And makes the save. They are really feeling it now here in the Ozone. Keys it up. Oh, what a stop on the play. And another stop doing everything to keep the puck out. Here's another shot. Komarov. Kamloops has it near the wall. Angles it over to Pankier. Kamloops plays the puck along the boards. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. 
Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. Quebec's won the face-off deep in their own end. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Can't get a hold of that pass. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Takes a shot, and he throws it wide of the net. Oh, this is a tough game, and you got to fight for your scoring chances, James. And this just seems like a waste when he misses wide. Quebec's got possession here in the offensive zone. Oh, what a stop! Puck grabbed by Hofer. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. The Remparts gain control of the puck. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. Quick snap. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Scooped up along the wall by Zellweger. They've got some momentum here. And he turned that one aside. Slides the puck over. The Remparts take it along the wall. The Blazers have it from their own end. Kamloops has it in the defensive end. Along the half wall with the puck. Locks him. A chance to win it, and he keeps it alive. What a stop. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Moves it quickly over to Trushall. He might have a step here. He's in the clear. Offensive zone faceoff. Bethiak's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Denied that one. Slides the puck down low. And it's freed up over to his teammate with a nice kick pass. And he makes the save. They are really pouring on the pressure here. Cuts to the net. And it's taken by the defense. Hands it to Hofer. an absolute clutch performance on the goaltender's part and we bring Ray Ferraro back into the mix here Razor I mean it's like a wall out there I mean I'm sure the scouts took note right impossible not to I I thought he was poised and he looked like an older mature goaltender which is really part of the crap here to drafting a goalie I mean there's all kinds of athletic ability that you see and goalies that are well schooled at this point in their young careers but you just have a difficult time projecting them to the next level that's why goalies are often the wild card in the draft but man this kid was fantastic and there is no way they're going to ignore that performance. I just absolutely love how clutch he was with the pressure cooker situation that he was in. Impressive.